Let's start with Citex Scala and the deployment feature. So here I have a project. On this project, I want to do some modification and I want to save this modification. The next step will be to deploy this new project to my machine, my SCADA machine, via the deployment feature. So here I can log in with my Windows credential, logging, and here we can see all my machines uh, for the deployment. So two of them are running right now. And what I want to do now is to add a, versions, a new version of my project. So I'm adding this new version and adding a description, so deployment test in this case. When this is done, you can see the new version, the version 24 in this case. And I want to deploy this new version to uh, these two machines. We can see here the status of my two machines is running. So that means Scitex Scala is running on these Scala servers. And here we can see the runtime manager. So the next step is to deploy the project. And we can see here there is the waiting for activation status. So that means I need to restart all my processes on my SCADA server. When this is done, we can see the status is running. I want to show you as well on the video. For example, if one of the processes doesn't start properly, you can see this flag, this warning flags. I will do the same steps for my second machine by restarting the processes. And we can see the activation status, which is untracked. When it's done, it will be running, so that's it. It's running now on the version 24. That's pretty much it for deployment. If you have any question about this feature, please ask in this video. Thanks for watching.